And we are now in module 14. And what we're going to do in this module is we're going to learn how to graph something that is not a line. We're going to learn how to graph a curve. And the first curve we're going to start with is the most basic curve you've all seen since you've been toddlers. We're going to learn how to graph a circle today. So let's go to our notes. If you all look, let's first talk about the definition of a circle. If you think about it, if I was your teacher and we were standing in class and I said, everybody get up and form a circle around me, two things would have to happen to form a circle. Number one, I would have to get in the center of the classroom and I would be the first point plotted. Because in order to form a circle, you need to have that center point to revolve around. So every circle has a center like you can see here. The second thing that would happen to form a circle is every single student would have to be the same distance from me. So it didn't matter how many students were in the classroom, if I said form a circle around me, you would all have to stand the same distance away. And that distance from the center of the circle to the edge is called the radius. So to graph a circle, we're going to need those two key ingredients. We're going to need the point, which is center, and we're going to need a distance or a length to move, which is radius. Okay, now what you have to memorize is how are you going to know you're graphing a circle? I shouldn't come out and just say, hey guys, we're going to graph a circle. What you're going to notice is every equation makes a graph. And up here is the equation of a circle. You have to memorize x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Say it with me. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Now, what I want you to notice why this is totally different than anything you've graphed before, which in your knowledge of graphing has only been lines, that this is not a linear equation. It is not just x to the first power and y to the first power. On each of those is a square. So when you graph an x squared, you make a curve. When you graph a y squared, you make a curve. And the plus sign there is bringing the two curves together. So if you're graphing a circle, it's really two curves coming together. And obviously the r squared is going to be the length of the radius. So your equation of a circle has to be in that form. Now. Every equation of a circle will have an x squared and a y squared connected by addition. That's a guarantee. In the other spots where the h, k, and r are, there are going to be three numbers. And those are the three numbers you're going to need to graph a circle. So, to graph a circle, we need two pieces of information. We need the center and the radius. The center is going to be where the h and k is located, and the radius is going to be where the r is located. So those three numbers in that equation are going to be the numbers you need to go to the graph paper. So let's go to the whiteboard and look at some examples. Okay, so what I want you all to go home and memorize is an equation of a circle is always x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And what I want you to understand is in this spot for H, K, and R, there are going to be numbers. And those numbers are what we're going to need to go to our graph paper. So our first example in our notes is graph X minus 3 squared plus Y minus 1, X plus 3 squared, I'm sorry, X plus 3 squared plus Y minus 1 squared equals 4. If you look, this equation is identical to this. It's got the x squared plus the y squared. The numbers behind the x and y are going to tell us where to plot our center. And it equals a number which is going to tell us the radius. So your equation of your circle has to be what we call this standard form to graph it. Now, what I expect you to do first is give me the information. Which numbers are the center and which number is the radius? If you look, 
the center is always going to be behind the X and behind the Y. It's always going to be those numbers. So if you look behind your X, there's a 3. Behind your Y, there's a 1. Those are the numbers we're going to use to tell us where the center of the circle is. But here's the problem. If you look at this formula, in front of the number H and in front of the number for K are subtraction symbols. And you've got to think back. When you put a number in this spot, what does the subtraction symbol do to it? Well, if you remember your basic arithmetic, subtraction always changes what's behind it. So it's very important. The H value of the center is not what you see. It not, it's not 3. It got changed. What would you put behind a 9 a sign in this spot that would change to a positive? It would have been a negative 3. X minus negative 3 would make the positive that you see. So the rule of thumb is when you give me the center, you don't give me the H and the K that you're seeing, the numbers that you're seeing, you're giving me their opposites or their additive inverses. So if you look here, it looks like K was negative 1, but it's not. It's the opposite of this. Y minus what number would make a negative 1? It would have been a positive. So the rule of thumb is, again, to tell me the center of the circle, you look behind the X, behind the Y. What you see, you make the opposite. Now you have a point you can plot. So let's go to negative 3, 1, and plot that point. So that's the center of our circle. Now we've got to move a distance. We need a length. The length of a circle is called the radius. But look, it's not this number. It's not 4. 4 is in the spot for r squared. So what number did you square to make 4? Or in other words, do the opposite. The opposite of squaring is square root. What is the square root of 4? 2. And because we're moving radius, which is distance, this has got to be just a positive. So from your center, you are going to move 2. Now on this system, we've discussed this, you can only move horizontally and vertically. So from your center, you're going to go up 2 and plot a point. From your center, you're going to go down 1, 2 and plot a point. You're going to go to the right 1, 2 and plot a point. And you're going to go from the center to the left, 1, 2, and plot a point. And then you would connect these four points, which are called the vertices. And that would make your circle. So isn't that really easy? To graph a circle, as long as it's in this standard form, you have no work to do. You'll see the center, you'll get the radius, and you'll graph your circle. Let's try another one. Okay, so example two says, let's graph x squared plus y squared equals 25. Again, is it in standard form? Well, I have my x squared. I have my y squared. x squared plus y squared is always two curves that come together. That's what makes a circle. Equals, this is my r squared. Now, it's very obvious by looking at here, what is the radius? The radius will be whatever this number is, the square root of it. And the square root of 25 is 5. But you can't move 5 yet till you know your center. Now, that's where the problem is, because you don't see anything behind the x or behind the y. Remember, these numbers behind the x and y are connected by subtraction. So use your common sense. What number can you subtract that's invisible? That's not going to change the value. That's right. That number would be 0. So we can really write this as x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 25. And if you look now, it is obvious. x minus 0 would just be x, and x squared would be written x squared. So the center of this circle, the h value is 0, and the k value is 0. So the moral of the story is, if you have an equation of a circle that says x squared plus y squared, what is always its center? The origin.
because there's nothing being subtracted here, there's nothing being subtracted here, that must be the invisible zeros. All right, so let's graph it. So again, we're going to plot the center, which is at the origin, and now we'll move a radius of 5. 5 up north, 5 down south, 5 to the east, 5 to the west, just like a compass. And then you're going to connect these four points, which are called the vertices. This doesn't have to be perfect. We're freehanding it. So it's not going to look perfect, but make sure it looks like a circle and not a square. Okay, let's try one more. All right, so here's my equation. It is x squared plus y minus 2 squared equals 16. So again, I'm going to ask you, how do you know it's a circle? A circle is two curves coming together. The way you're going to know it's a circle is you're going to have an x squared that represents one curve, the y squared represents the other curve, and the plus brings them together. So as long as both variables are squared, x squared, y squared, and it's connected by plus, it's going to make a circle. So I see my x squared plus there's a y squared. So we know this is going to be a circle. To graph a circle, we said we need two pieces of information. We need the center and the radius. The center is always located behind the x and the y. So I'm looking here. Here's the x. I do not see anything being subtracted. What's that understood to be? Zero. Behind the y is my k value. Now I do see a number. But remember, we're going to take this number and make it the what? The opposite. So the k value is going to be positive 2. The radius is going to be whatever this distance number is here, square rooted. What is the square root of 16? 4. So now that you have your two pieces of information, now you can go graph your circle. So you plot what first? Your center. 0, 2 would be 2 up on the y-axis, and then you're going to move a radius of 4. Make sure when you move the radius, it's from the center. So you go from 2 up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. You go from 2 down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. You go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. And from the center, you go left, 1, 2, 3, 4. And that would make the four vertices and we would connect them, and I'm going to do the best I can freehand here, it's kind of hard, and there is your circle. Is everybody okay? So the most important thing I want you to learn so far is that you'll know it's a circle because it's not linear. You can't call this quadratic because it's not just x squared, it's x squared and y squared. So it's two squares. That makes two curves. The plus brings them together. That's why it's a circle. Now, we have one more thing to do. Not only can you draw the circle, I can give you information to write its equation. So, if we go to our notes and look at example two, it says write the equation in standard form. This is always what an equation of a circle we want to look like. So, in order to write an equation of a circle, not only do you have to have this memorized, You've got to know I need a number for h and k, which represents the center, and I need the length of the radius. So, if I tell you, hey guys, my center of my circle is at 0, 0, and my radius is 4, I don't want you to draw a picture of it now. I want you to write the equation that information would be in. So, we know if we have a center and a radius, it must be a circle. What we're going to do is substitute. This is the h value, this is the k, val the k value, and this is your r value. It says it there. All we're going to do is substitute those numbers in. So we're going to write parentheses. x minus h is 0. Squared plus parentheses y minus k is 0. Squared equals r is 4 squared. So does everybody say to write an equation of a circle, all you need are two ingredients. You need to know where the center is and what the radius is. 
And once you have those numbers, you substitute them in. Now we're going to do some simple arithmetic and algebra. We're going to simplify. X minus 0 is X. So this would be X squared. Plus Y minus 0 is Y. So this would be Y squared. And this right here is arithmetic. What's 4 squared? 16. And that's what we want. When we say write an equation of a circle, it's like asking you to write your name. You write your name in print or script. When we write the equation of a circle, I know this is a circle because it has the key ingredients. X squared plus Y squared. The two curves come together. All right? I think we have one more. Okay, so here we go again. The directions say write the equation of a circle. The center is 5, negative 6, and the radius is 10. So I'm not asking you to graph it because my oh my, that would be an awful big circle if I asked you to graph a circle with a radius of 10. But what I'm asking you to do is give me the official equation of this circle. So again, this is what you have to memorize. Say it with me. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So now we're going to fill it in. This is your H, this is your K. Always it goes in alphabetical order. You can't mix them up. H is first, K is second. And this is your R. So we're going to write parentheses X minus. Now what's H? 5. Let's drop it in. Squared plus Y minus. You got to write the minus. You got to write the minus. But what is K now? It's negative 6 squared equals. What's R? 10 squared. So everybody be careful. The minuses go along. Then you stick the number in. You substitute it in. Now, we don't want you to do any work. We want to leave it in standard form. We want to see it with the parentheses. So this is fine. X minus 5 squared, we understand. This will not be acceptable because what do two negatives make? They make a positive. Y plus 6 squared. And this is a number. And we all know 10 squared is 10 times 10 which is 100. Now everybody look. That is an equation. Why is it an equation? It has an equal sign. Why is it an equation of a circle? It's got the x squared plus the y squared. Again, it's very visual. x squared makes a curve, y squared makes a curve, the plus brings them together, a circle. You know that this is correct because look, if you look at this equation you wrote, the center would be the opposite the additive inverses of these numbers. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. The opposite of 6 is negative 6. The radius would be the square root of 100, which is 10. So what we've learned today is that an equation of a circle is written very specifically. It has an x squared and a y squared connected by addition. Two curves coming together. You will know to graph a circle, because you'll need two pieces of information out of that equation. You'll need the center and the radius. And once you know the center and the radius, not only can you graph the picture of the circle, but then you could write its equation if I didn't give it to you. All right, in the next module, we're going to find out what happens if the equation of the circle is not in standard form. See you then.